The Sonoside Edge offers superb image quality and increased speed, along with Sonosite's traditional reliability in a laptop-sized unit. This short video will demonstrate the key features and functions of the Sonosite Edge system. For more in-depth information, please refer to the System User Guide. This short video will outline the steps to optimize the ultrasound system to perform an examination. To start the study, press the Patient key. Enter the information into the appropriate fields, including patient name, ID number, date of birth, gender, and exam type. When you have completed patient information entry, press Done. The exam type symbol will now indicate the exam type that has been selected. Use a coupling gel to remove any air between the transducer face and the skin surface. The system has advanced image optimization technology that greatly simplifies user controls. Many of the controls such as tissue harmonic imaging, Sono MB, and Sono HD are automatically activated with exam type. Therefore, only a few controls may need to be adjusted to obtain the best image quality. This tutorial will review the key functions that are used most frequently when optimizing an image. Please refer to the user manual for a complete explanation of all controls that may be adjusted. Once you have located the area of interest, Adjust the depth of image to center the area of interest in the middle of the image display. As you adjust the depth, the maximum depth number changes in the lower right corner of the screen. Select the desired optimization setting from the on-screen menu. Res provides the best resolution possible. Gen provides a balance between resolution and penetration. Pen provides the best possible penetration. For quick optimization of the gain settings on the system, press the Auto Gain key. The system will evaluate the image and apply the appropriate gain level settings to the image. If you would prefer to change the gain settings manually, adjust the Near, Far, or Gain keys on the lower left side of the control panel to increase or decrease the amount of gain applied to the Near Field, Far Field, or the overall image. You may save the image you have frozen or review individual frames in the Cine Buffer. The Cine Buffer can be accessed using the touchpad or gain key. Moving across the touchpad or decreasing the gain key reviews images retrospectively, and increasing the gain key reviews images prospectively. The frame number will change dynamically as the touchpad or gain key are manipulated. A measurement may be performed on a frozen image. Activate calipers by pressing the caliper key. Move the caliper to the point of interest by using the touchpad. An active measurement will be displayed in the bottom left corner. To perform a linear measurement, place the caliper at the point of interest and press the select key. Another caliper will be activated. Move the caliper to the point of interest to complete the measurement. Area measurements may be obtained by using the ellipse or manual trace methods. To label the image, select the text key on the keyboard. You may select a text label from the annotation lists or type the label on the screen. When you are ready to store your image, select Save to save the image to the internal storage. Approximately 64,000 images may be stored on the internal storage. Press the Freeze key or 2D mode key to return to live imaging. Press the Color key to activate Color Doppler or Color Power Doppler. A region of interest, ROI box, will appear in the center of the screen. Use the touchpad or arrow keys on the control panel to change the position or size of the ROI box. Use the select key to toggle between changing position or size of the ROI box.
The settings for color will be displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Select the desired sensitivity from the on-screen context menu. Low optimizes the system for low flow state. MED optimizes the system for medium flow states. High optimizes the system for high flow states. Use the Gain key to adjust the overall color gain level for Color Power Doppler or Color Doppler. You may freeze a color image to save or review individual frames in the Cine Buffer. Just as in 2D imaging, the Cine Buffer can be accessed using the touchpad, Gain key, or arrow keys. Press the 2D or Color key to return to 2D imaging. Color Doppler may be used to quickly identify where blood flow is located in a structure. Pulsed Wave Doppler may be used to detect and measure the velocity of blood flow through a vessel. To activate Pulsed Wave Doppler, press the Doppler key. A Doppler sample line will appear. Use the touchpad or arrow keys to place the sample line in the blood vessel. Note that the color ROI box is tied to the Doppler sample line. Press the Doppler key again to activate the Doppler spectral trace. Press the Update key to toggle between the Doppler spectral trace and 2D imaging. Select Freeze to stop the Doppler spectral trace when an adequate sample is obtained. To review the trace at different points in time, use the touchpad, arrow keys, or gain key to access the Cine Buffer. Measurements may be performed on the Doppler spectral trace by selecting the caliper key or Calc's menu key. If desired, press the Save key to save the image with the measurements displayed. Press the Freeze key to return to the live Doppler spectral trace or press 2D Imaging to exit Pulsed Wave Doppler. When you have acquired all images for the study, press the Patient key and choose New slash End Exam from the on-screen menu to finalize the exam and end the study. This concludes this brief review of imaging modes and system controls to optimize the ultrasound image. For an extensive review of system features and functions, please refer to the System User Manual.